Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. So I was gonna start my series on how to create a Next.js app and then I just ran into a problem. So I thought it would be a good idea just to troubleshoot it and maybe other people have the same problem and we can all solve it together. So this is a Next.js app and the problem is with the packages installed with the node that you're using. So I'm just gonna run this app. So there is nothing fancy. I'll, I'm assuming you already have your app and you just wanna run it. So let's just run it to see what, what we get. So if you get this kind of problem that says the syntax error and then it gives you like, you know, the question mark is giving you this error or something like that, it's because you're using an outdated uh, node package. At least for me, that's the problem that I've uh, come to know. So if you want to know which one you're using, you can issue the following command, which is MVM current. And as you can see, we're using the default one, which is the 12.22.7. Uh, and if you want to see like which ones, I know I have installed the latest one because I installed it before by by doing mvm install and then, you know, the version that you want, uh, whatever it is, right? So I already did that. So I just want to see a list of the ones that I have installed here. So to do that, you can just issue the following command, which is mvm list ls. So that's going to tell you uh, the packages that you have here. So let me just make this bigger. It tells you like the packages that you have. And as you can see, the default one is pointing to the 12.22.7. Uh, so every time that you open Visual Studio, it's gonna use that one, right? So I wanna use the latest one. So as you can see, I have a bunch of them installed. So let's say that I wanna use the, the latest one. So what would I do to do that? So to do that, you can issue the following command, which is MVM, MVM use, and then just the version of the package, right? In my case, uh, 19.8.1. All right, so let's just run it. Uh, nothing is gonna happen. So now it tells you like you're using that one and you can double check by just issuing the command NVM current once again. And it tells you that that's the one that you're using, right? So then you can uh, you can run the app. So let's just run the app, npm run dev. So now it's gonna run, no problem. So you can see it's running, no problem. All right, so what happens when we close Visual Studio? Let's just close it open Visual Studio again. I'm just going to open the same pro uh, project that I was using. Uh, let's just give it a second. It's initializing. So once we get here, so let me, I just have to CD into my project. npm run dev. And you can see that I get the same problem that I was getting before. So it just defaulted to the to the version 12, uh, whatever it is. Uh, let's just check which one it was. If you issue that command, it's gonna tell you like, oh, you're using this one as the default one. But remember that we already changed it to the 19.8.1. So to change it permanently, and so that it, when you close Visual Studio and then you open it again, you'll have the latest version or the one that you're gonna set as the default one, as the latest one you have to issue the following command. So let me just clear this. You have so you to issue have the following command, mvm alias default, and then the version that you want. So in this case, uh, this is the latest, I think. So we'll just issue this command. And now you can see that the default one has changed to that one. So let's just uh, see which one we're using. Uh, it says that we're still using 12.22.7. All right, so, but then let's just do ls. The default one is gonna be that one, but the one that's pointing here is that one. But like, let me just say mvm use, and let's just uh, do this one. Uh, mvm use, and then the version, right? So now that's gonna change it. So now it says that you're using that one. And let's see. Yeah, so now we're using that one, and the default one is that one, uh, the latest one. So now let's close Visual Studio. So now if we run the app, it's gonna run, but let's close Visual Studio and open it again. And now the default one is gonna be the latest and it's not gonna default to the to this one here. So let's just uh, try that. So let's just close Visual Studio and let's open it again. All right, so this is the third time that we've opened Visual Studio. So let's just see which versions uh, we have. And as you can see, this one, the 12.22.7 is not the default one anymore. So now we have the latest as the, as the default one. So now let's just uh, issue this command just to double check. And if, as a matter of fact, we're using the latest now. And that's because uh, we needed to restart Visual Studio to, 
to make the changes propagate. So now if we say npm uh, run dev, that should work immediately and then we won't have to change it anymore. And that, ha uh, that has saved us a lot of time. So now we don't have to uh, you know, keep using NVM use and then just switching back and forth between versions. If you want to, you can set the default as a different one. Uh, just remember that the command is uh, NVM alias default and then the version that you want. And then you have to restart Visual Studio and that would uh, set that version to the default one the next time that you open Visual Studio. So this is just a quick tutorial on how to troubleshoot that error if you get it. And yeah, I just wanted to make this video. Maybe some people uh, will uh, see it and it will be uh, useful for them. If you like the video, just give it a thumbs up, uh, leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.